Hey yo, what are you doing, let's crew? Welcome back to another episode of Half Core News. Damn, it's always been a while since I've said that, but it's good to be back. And as always, you know we got an off so on left for today's story. So without any further ado, let's do it. Alright, for the first story today, we're going to talk about some music news. We got to talk about what's going on with Justin Timberlake. Holy shit. So, bro was out here in the Hamptons, right? Goes past the stop sign. Then he ends up swerving. And then police end up following him and then trying to see what's up with him, trying to see what's going on. They stop him, they flag him down, make him do a field sobriety test, make him do a breathalyzer test. And they find out, you know, he's driving while intoxicated. And then they put him in a custody where he's currently at in jail right now as of recording of this video but when it comes to celebrities getting arrested or when it comes to like them someone of power getting arrested it doesn't really matter i promise you how much you want to bet within like an hour or, or some change maybe within a few hours later of, of this recording this video maybe it's probably already happened at this point he posted bail and he's out okay that's typically how it works with these celebrities when they have power and they have money you can pretty much do whatever you want because you know if you got the bread for it if you got the the power to do so you'll be straight you'll be okay it's just it's unfortunate this is what it has to be when it comes to people when they're in this position but it is what it is it is just kind of it's kind of wild at the fact that this is how justin timberlake is getting his name back in the media and getting his name back on the mainstream it and him not doing anything like of impact that's just kind of wild and it really is absurd so it really is just fucking crazy, man. But we're going to move on to the next story, though. Now we got to talk about some sports news. How the fuck did the Mavericks fumble the bag and the, the Boston Celtics got the chip? Damn, 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 damn. I'm so angry and I'm so pissed off. I wanted Kyrie to win another chip. I wanted Kyrie to win the Finals MVP and say, fuck LeBron. That didn't happen. Boston ended up getting the dub in five games, and Jalen Brown won finals MVP. There was already people on Twitter already talking about how Drew Holiday has the contention for a Hall of Fame career. He's been on all of them Hall of Fame defensive teams, made a couple of all-star teams, and now he's a two-time NBA champion for two different organizations. Really quickly, let's just talk about some of these players that won a championship on the Boston Celtics, and let's just talk about how crazy it is to say that, damn. These are NBA champions. Chris Hasperzingas. He won an NBA championship before Chris Paul. And he made it to the finals before Camelo Anthony. That's funny in and of itself. Al Horford. Crazy as hell in the fact of he went through so many years without a championship. And he was just such a phenomenal player. I feel like he needs to retire after this. Perfect way to end off his career. Perfect. Phenomenal. Jason Tatum. I mean type shit. We were already expecting of that. And like Jason Tatum, you know, you were the dude that boomed on LeBron James in like, what, your second, third year in the league? And then you got Jalen Brown. You know, Jalen Brown was cooking up. He was whipping it in the kitchen. Who else is crazy to say that they won an NBA championship on the Boston Celtics? I don't really know. That's, that's really it. I mean, White, that's kind of like... White made himself like uh, an impact player. Like I know I'm not really surprised by anybody else. I'm just surprised at the fact that I also saw that Jason Tatum is getting a 300 million dollar potential contract extension for four to five years just because of this. And I also saw the fact that Drew Holiday just made an extra milli for winning a championship because it was like included in his contract or something. Hilarious. So yeah, my predictions were wrong. They were way off. Kyrie shit the bed and Luka was just doing everything by himself. There's only so much he can do. So, yeah, it, it, it sucks. It sucks. Shout out to the shout out to the Celtics, though. But we're going to move on to the last story today. And last but not least, we got to talk about this Krishan Rock shit. Jesus Christ. She finna be going to jail because she, uh, she was doing some shit. She's going to be on custody for a felony fugitive warrant. That she had like on the 10th. About like a week or some change back. So now she's going to be behind bars. Alongside Blueface. That's going to be. That's crazy as fuck. That's wild as fuck. Um, damn. I mean like. 
Ain't really that much I can really say about Kashawn Rob besides the fact that this is just obvious and it's going to be like, damn. I, re I really can't get over the fact that she potentially might be going to jail. So I wonder what's going to happen with the kid. I don't know. Maybe she's going to go to Child Protective Services. Maybe they'll just hold on to her because they know that, like with the JT situation, she'll just get out quick. I mean, who knows? I'm not really sure. Kashawn Rock is just an interesting person. She truly is just an interesting specimen, may I say the least. Like, she's just wild. She's crazy. She's weird. I don't, I don't really know what is going on with her. She really is just, she just be tripping. She just be doing, like, wild shit on the daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. But with all that being said, that's going to conclude another episode of Half Core News. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Always help the channel out. If y'all made it through the end of the video, comment down below, triple L, because you know we always living like Larry. With all that being said, Senator Lich, never lose hope. And I'm finna see all y'all in the next video. Peace. Get! God on my shoulder, so I ain't falling for no evil thing. Never lose hope on these lames like I'm in a lich. No, they really trying to get me, get me out the way. But I'm the king.